Hi guys, I'm Emily from Dish and the Spoon and welcome to my intro. First of all, I did want to point out that I'm not a chef. I did give professional cooking a go probably three years ago. I lasted about three months into my three year apprenticeship and it just wasn't for me, I just didn't like it. I much prefer being able to see the look on people's faces when I dish up what I've made for them. It makes it all that little bit more exciting. I don't know where my love of food came from exactly. I left home when I was about 18 years old. Prior to that, I didn't have any cooking experience. I rarely cooked for my parents. Uh, I did home economics class at school. That's about it. And my mum seemed to think for some reason that I was not going to be able to cook, which is really bizarre. One of my favorite pastimes is proving my mum wrong, so <laughs> goal achieved. So basically I just want to go over quickly what's on my blog. So there's a little section there that tells you a little bit about me, basically what I've just glossed over just then. There's a section there for some recipes. I'm going to try and keep it updated with the recipes as much as I can. I've got a few friends and family members that will also contribute at some point or another. My mother-in-law is an excellent baker. Uh, so look forward to some recipes from her. I've tried to make the website as easy to navigate as possible So basically I've only gone with five sections under the recipes tab So there you'll find categories such as entrees, mains, desserts, sides and snacks There's a tab there for reviews. Most of them are local at the moment I am working on a few from the Melbourne area I'll also have a few up for Phuket in Thailand if any of you are interested in looking for somewhere really cool to go while you're in Phuket there's also a little section there on my day-to-day -day life. So I'll pop my news blogs in there, uh, what I'm up to, where I'm going, all that sort of stuff. I've also got a tab on there for events. Now I'm going to try and keep this updated with as many events as possible. So things like local farmers markets, festivals, restaurant openings, etc. I'm also gonna try and update it with some more Melbourne based stuff because that is where I am most local to and I want to share what our region has to offer. Over the next few weeks, I'll be announcing some really exciting things I've come up with. Uh, a few ideas that are a little bit quirky, a little bit different hopefully. So if you're interested in following what's up next, head to our blog, I'll link the description in the down bar below. I'll also pop links to my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Pinterest profiles for you guys to follow if you're interested in that as well. So I know it's been long winded but that's just a little bit about me and my blog and what I want to share with you guys. If you liked this video give us a thumbs up and maybe even hit the little subscribe button to keep up to date with any new videos we post. Thanks very much for watching, bye!